Hello and welcome back, YouTubers. I'm Brito Mario, and I want to say something before I really begin this video. A lot of the times when I talk about someone dying or suffering with a condition or being in the hospital, people will say, oh, you're just trying to make money off their sickness and things like that. But I want to preface today's video with this individual that I'm talking about needs as much exposure as they can get. They need the support because no matter how much money we give them, no matter how much we try to get them help. Nothing is going to help them at this point, and they just need recognition, support, and, and just words of encouragement to continue living. And what am I talking about? Well, a YouTube user by the name of Total Biscuit. he's the cynical Brit. He's pretty much a PC gaming guru. He goes through each individual game, has a WTF is such and such game's name and then talks about it in depth the pc versions of it usually and he's very good at what he does but this man has been suffering with cancer for quite some time unfortunately he recently divulged information stating that he was suffering from cancer in the liver now he was cured of the cancer that was plaguing him before but liver cancer it's not really easily operated on and this one particularly is not operated on the people that diagnosed him stated that he has only two to three years to live now that is harsh because total biscuit isn't 60 or 70 years old he's a younger man i'm sorry i'm i'm genuinely sorry a lot of people don't know this about me but i have worked in nursing homes and i've worked in a cancer clinic before and it's harsh to see these people walk in, get sick, throw up in a fucking waste bin because they're being injected with radiation in hopes that they can just live, live, just fucking live for a while. Seeing their hair fall out and all kinds of horrible fucked up shit happen to them. And I don't much like talking about cancer. Uh, I'm not a stick in the mud. I know there's jokes out there. But honestly, when you see that stuff firsthand, it changes your perspective on things. You start to realize how fucked up this disease is. And a lot of people will sit here and say, oh, I'm sick of it. And I'm going to uh, wear pink and support cancer research and all that shit. And that's, that's all great and good. But that's not going to magically make a cure appear tomorrow. If you put in a pink button, it's not magically going to cure it. So instead, I would advocate you, ladies and gentlemen, to head over to Total Biscuits Twitter. I will link it in the description below. And send him a message. Send him an uplifting message. Even if you don't even watch the guy, man. Just, you know, hope for the best. Just Tell them, hey, I, I hope you recover from your cancer. Because when you're told you only have two to three years to live, it changes your life. Uh, when I was in the military, that's how we felt. When we were told we were going to deploy at a certain time, um, many things were happening in that region that we were deploying to. There were bases being attacked constantly, overrun. Um, that had happened before in that region, and it wasn't good. Mortar attacks, uh, choppers getting shot down. And our first sergeant had told us there's a good chance that you guys will probably die. He didn't pull any punches. He didn't lie. Um, and, you know, how do you react to that as a young man, young woman, or an old man, an old woman? It changes you. It, it makes you detached, non-empathetic. You don't give a shit. Fuck it. I'm gonna die, you know? Fuck you. You feel bad today? Oh, well, guess what? I'm gonna fucking die. And uh, stuff like that starts to enter your head, and it makes you feel bad. So... I'm going to end this video on a story. This is a true story, and I'm going to use real names. And you guys who know who I really am will probably have your suspicions confirmed with this video. But I'll go ahead and say it because I want the memory of this individual to live on. So, I was in the military with a large group of individuals, and we all felt pretty comfortable with each other. We were happy with each other. Good soldiers. When you go through war with each other and you trust each other... You get to know each other, and it becomes more like a brotherhood and things like that. Yeah, those cliches are real. You feel like really close friends. So, there was a woman named Kimberly Sheriff, and um, she was in the army and she had issues. She consistently had uh, issues like hernias and things like that, and they weren't really sure what was wrong with her. Well, what ended up happening is that when she finished her... Four years, I believe she was in. Um, she ETS'd with me. 
we got out around the same time and she died of cancer a year later she had two two kids and she died of cancer um it killed her kimberly sheriff died of cancer and it was very unfortunate that she did die in the way that she died i feel very sad that she had to go through the military survive a deployment just to die a year later and so to told biscuit if you were hearing this which you may never hear this you may never see this um, but i hope that you recover i wholeheartedly hope that you get better from this because cancer fucking sucks man cancer fucking sucks constantly being sick feeling sick and things of that nature now, i'm not going to weigh in on any more personal experiences i've had with it but it fucking sucks man to do all that you do just to die a year later or two years later or three years later i can't think of anything worse maybe murder being murdered um but really i mean almost any other death would be better and i'm i'm sorry that you probably will die i'm sorry that you have inoperable liver cancer and i wholeheartedly hope that you have made peace with yourself i just i'm sorry man i'm really sorry as a, a YouTube partner that I personally look up to, as an individual who is extremely, extremely good at what they do, if you die, it will be a great loss to the individuals in the gaming community, big and small, console and PC. So, please, try your best to fight it and get better. Somehow. You never know. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I encourage you to, again, tweet him uplifting messages, and please comment below uplifting messages. You don't know if he's going to watch this video or not, so just leave him a nice comment. So, thanks for watching. Please like and share this with as many people as you can so they know what's going on, uh, because just... Any message that's nice could uplift it today and make him feel better. So I'm Bro Mario and I'm signing up. In gaming and God bless. And now the important decision of joining the Maverick Rebellion. We are a tight group of individuals who rebel against stereotypes and greater evils that are commonly accepted. ISPs, children being conned out of games, sexism in video games, enough is enough. And the Mavericks have had it. If you choose to subscribe or stay subscribed, you are joining the fight against injustice by watching my numerous video topics. From net neutrality to publishers covering up bots releases. The Mavericks are always informed on the issues plaguing your gaming experience today. So don't be left out in the cold, and don't let those people keep you down. Join the Maverick Rebellion today and become a member of the community that will listen and engage with you. What are you waiting for? Just click subscribe and you'll be in good company. Mavericks unite!